Using the de Broglie uh, hypothesis, compute the wavelengths of the following a 10 gram bullet traveling at 500 meter per second. So um, now, how uh, find, we need to find the wavelength? Okay, de Broglie means uh, we need to use the wave. We want to find the wavelength. De Broglie means use the h over momentum. Okay, de Broglie is h over momentum formula. So find the wavelength. Uh, is given the mass, okay, mass is given and give us the velocity, V. Okay, so again, as I said, this formula, we can use this formula for is general. Huh? Is general for all objects. I explained already. I explained already in my lecture video. This uh, de Broglie uh, formula can, is general, can be used for any object. That's why now this de Broglie formula is also used for bullet, uh, for, for bullet, even for a ball, for human being, uh, we can always use this de Broglie wavelength formula. Okay, so now we just use the mass and velocity multiply and uh, what do we get? So H is 6.63 exponent negative 34 over the mass, mass is uh, 10 gram. You must change to kilogram, understand? Change to kilogram, uh, zero, 10 gram divided by 1000. Uh, 10 gram divided by 1000 is 0 0.010 uh, kilogram. Uh, that is, uh, okay, I change to kilogram. And then uh, 500 meter per second already in SI unit. So what is the answer I will get? Yeah, what is the answer? Let me look at the answer. Um, okay, so the answer is a uh, 1.33 exponent uh, negative 34. Do you get the correct answer? Do you get this uh, same answer? Yeah, this is the wavelength. Okay, yeah. Uh, next, uh, let's find out the electron with kinetic energy 1 electron volt. Uh, again, I want to tell you that. What do we do with this uh, non-SI unit, electron volt? Uh, same thing, also change to SI unit. How to change to SI unit? Electron volt, yeah? Uh, electron volt change to, um, yeah? Electron volt change to Joule, how to change? If electron volt change to Joule, we multiply electron charge. If Joule go back to electron, we divide electron. Okay, remember always change to SI unit. Yeah, you need to change first all these to uh, Joule. Yeah? Or need to change to Joule first, the SI unit first. Before we substitute into the formula, never, 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 never substitute electron volt. Okay, always change to Joule first. So, um, okay, so let us find out what's the, this is the kinetic energy. Okay, let's find out this energy, this kinetic energy, which is a uh, one electron volt. Okay, uh, now I multiply by electron charge, which is a uh, 1.6 exponent negative 19. So yeah, very simple. This is 1.6 exponent negative 19 joule. That's the that's the energy it has. Yeah, already in uh, in SI unit, uh, already in SI unit in uh, joule. Understand? So once I got this uh, kinetic energy, I substitute. Um, okay, I have this kinetic energy. What is the use of this kinetic energy? I want to find the wavelength. So, um, yeah, uh, I told you already to relate, to relate kinetic energy to the wavelength. One simple thing is you just relate them with the, the momentum. You also can use a half mv square. You first find the velocity, yeah? And then from velocity, you also can find wavelength, also can. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's accepted. Yeah, anyway, it's accepted. Here, I just use the one with momentum. Yeah, kinetic energy is momentum squared over 2m. Uh, yeah, it's the same as, it is the same as uh, half mv square. Okay, look at my lecture video, how I convert half mv square to m momentum squared over 2m. Okay, look at my lecture video. So now, uh, now I find the momentum first lah. Once from kinetic energy, I got the momentum. I can substitute momentum here. I can get the 
wavelength uh, of the electron. Okay, so let's calculate. So this is 1.6, negative 19 joule. Remember, must be in joule first before you substitute. And then I want the momentum over 2 mass. mass uh, this is electron. Uh, so you're going to use mass of electron. Okay, you're going to use mass of electron, which is uh, 9.11 exponent negative 31. Uh, yeah. So now, what is your momentum? Let's get your momentum. Let's calculate your momentum. 1.6. Let's calculate. Okay. So I calculated it is a 5.4. 5.4 exponent uh, negative 25. Uh, this momentum is kilogram meter per second because it's mass velocity. Yeah. Ah, so I got the momentum ready. Now I can find the lambda straight away. Lambda is H over momentum. Uh, H over momentum. It is, um, I can find the wavelength already. 6.63 exponent negative 34 divided by momentum is uh, 5.4 uh, exponent negative 25. Okay, so what is the answer? Yeah, so 6.63 exponent exponent negative 34 divided by uh, the answer uh, which is uh, what's the answer uh, so it's a 1.23 exponent negative 9 meter this should be the answer yeah okay so is the answer correct yeah that's correct yeah so for first question is 1.33 negative 34 and then the second question is 1.23 nanometer nan nanometer yeah uh, exponent negative nine meter okay so that's correct okay let's go on to the next questions <laughs>